So you finally got your hands on your brand new shiny Xiaomi phone. Or maybe it's even a Redmi or a Poker branded device. Whatever the case, we're pretty sure that you're excited to try it out and have fun exploring what Android has to offer with a hint of Xiaomi flavored goodness so to speak. Xiaomi puts its own spin on Android through MIUI, its signature Android skin. Simply put, Xiaomi customizes Android to work with its own set of apps and software features, giving it a distinct look from what most people would call stock Android. Now in its 13th iteration, MIUI comes with some unique features that add to the overall Xiaomi user experience. With that said, you might be a newcomer to MIUI, or maybe you just want a quick refresher on stuff that you might have missed in setting up your phone. Well, this is where we come in. We've compiled a quick list of tips and tricks that you'll want to check out while handling your Xiaomi powered smartphone. Let's get started. All right, so one of the main points of interaction that we have with our smartphones is by using gesture controls in navigation. Now, if you aren't sure what they are, they're the tiny triangle, circle, and square buttons at the bottom of most phone screens. With Xiaomi phones, however, it's a bit different. Contrary to most phones, the back and multitask buttons are usually swapped. Now, if you want to change this, you can simply head into the settings menu, go to additional settings, full screen display, to access the full list of options for the navigation buttons. You can even change it if you want to get rid of the buttons entirely and instead use full screen gestures for a modern Android experience. It goes without saying that one of Android's biggest appeals is its ability to be customizable in nearly every way possible and most people usually change up their wallpapers to keep things feeling fresh. The fastest way to do this would be to go back to your main home screen, tap and hold on an empty spot for a couple of seconds which should bring up a number of customization options including a square icon in the lower left corner. Tapping on this icon will bring you to a menu that will then let you browse a number of themes wallpapers, ringtones, and even fonts. You can then use these to add a bit of personalization to your phone. Alright, so moving on, it's also important for Android phones to get regular software updates as they do come with much needed fixes for any issues with security and performance. To access this in MIUI 13, simply open your settings app, head to about phone, and tap on the large MIUI 13 logo on the upper left section of the menu, which should then automatically check for updates and let you download them. Similar to what other smartphone manufacturers are doing, MIUI 13 comes with the Control Center, a modified version of the default quick settings menu found in Android. Usually, MIUI will allow you to swipe down from the top left hand side to view your notifications, while swiping down from the top right will let you view your toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and such. If you want to customize this, you can easily find it by heading once again into your settings app, going to notifications and control center, where you can then find an in-depth selection of settings for notifications and the control center itself. There are certainly a lot of options to work with and we suggest taking your time to familiarize yourself with these. Now, Xiaomi has always put a special emphasis on gaming in most of its smartphones, and they've actually put a special tool to add a bit of spice to your gaming experience. Known as Game Turbo, this special feature optimizes your phone's performance by devoting all the hardware resources to running your game. The fastest way to access Game Turbo will be to head into your settings app, go to the search bar, and directly type Game Turbo to instantly access it. Once you are there, it will list all the installed games on your device, although you'll sometimes need to add them individually in case it doesn't automatically detect them. You can then proceed to toggle any performance settings that you think you'll need to get the best gaming performance on your phone. Alright, so moving on, if you want instant access to certain toggles, you can opt to activate the accessibility menu shortcut on your phone. Previously known as Quick Ball, this can easily be accessed by heading into settings, going to additional settings, and the accessibility menu. This will let you activate a floating button which is usually located on the lower right hand side of the display, and this gives you quick access to the power menu, lock screen, volume, and more. You can also change the status bar at the very top of your display to show or hide notification icons, connection speeds, and even change the appearance of your battery indicator. We once again go into the settings app, notification and control center, and the status bar where you can then access the settings options and give your phone even a bit more customization. Not a lot of phones can do this and it's nice that MIUI does include this option. Now, it's no secret that some Xiaomi phones come with water drop notches or hole punch displays, and while these do add screen real estate, they can sometimes prove to be distracting for some users. As such, MIUI 13 lets you hide the notch by adding a black border to the top of your display. To do this, you'll need to access settings, go to notification and control center, status bar, followed by hide notch, where you can then choose to activate a black overlay on the front facing camera. You can even hide the notch in individual apps if you want to prevent certain apps from stretching away from their natural aspect ratio. 
If your Xiaomi or Redmi or Pocophone has an AMOLED display, it most likely has support for always-on display. Essentially, AOD lets you view notifications, reminders, and other important info without the need to lift your phone or fully open your screen. It's information that you can view instantly which is pretty convenient. To access this, open your settings app, go to always on display and lock screen, head to always on display to get a full view of the themes and designs that you can use to customize your AOD. Like a lot of other Android manufacturers, Xiaomi does allow you to change the refresh rate on compatible smartphones. You might want to lower it to save more battery or set it to the maximum available setting to achieve that buttery smooth look. Simply head to settings, go to display, and then refresh rate, and from there you can choose to set it to 60, 90, or even 120Hz if supported by your phone. Alright, so that does it for this quick little tutorial session. We do hope that these tips help you as you continue to explore and enjoy your new Xiaomi smartphone. Keep in mind that there might be some minute differences in certain settings configurations, but overall, MIUI 13 should be a uniform experience across a majority of Xiaomi, Redmi, and Poco devices for the most part. Now guys, be sure to check out our other Xiaomi content on fandroid.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.